Hello YouTube, this video is about grubs. Some of you know what they are, some of you like them, some of you hate them. I personally don't like them, at least not in my pots. So I built this box where it put four different plants. I just planted two new plants today. And where you can see I have a bush. That one is struggling to stay alive. It's actually still alive. I had four and three of them died. When I pulled them out, half of the root system was gone. And because they died, I took it back to Home Depot because they give me one year warranty. So when I returned them, the lady asked me, do I have grubs? And I said no, because I didn't see any. So now I am I'm going to try to do this one-handed, how I'm naturally removing my grubs. I am taking about a fistful of dirt at a time, putting it in my strainer. And this is hard to do, but I'm shaking it just to remove any loose particles and making a fine mulch or dust, which I'm using this is organic matter. It's, oops, sorry about the video. It's almost like sand quality. Um, I'm making it super fine because I'm using it on my horsetail weed. As you can see, I just watered and it likes the consistency of this soil. As you can see before, I had Kind of like a mulch. I used a organic um, top potting soil, and the good thing is that the grubs actually ate through the organic matter and made it really, really fine. As you can, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. Um, and collecting all that fine dust and putting it back in the pot. I'm using the bottom part as a mulch to retain as much water as possible so that, as you know, um, horsetails love a lot of water. So instead of watering every day, I'm going to try to water every other day or every third day. Um, hope this video helps, but um, get rid of your grubs naturally if your pot is dead. Um, let's see if I can find any. I don't see any now, but um, this pot actually had the least amount of grubs. The other two pots I found about 100 grubs per pot. This one I probably found 12. So not as many in this pot. So with that, it's not as fine of a dust. The other organic mulch I had was reduced to a really fine dust. So they have some benefits. If you're gonna compost, use them for composting, but I do not want them in my pots because they are eating up my roots. And that is not a good thing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, I guess you can contact me, but I'm not an expert, so I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching.